Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. You guys seem to enjoy the, the last video I posted, which was kind of about my creative process a little bit, kind of like writing a, uh, a little section, turning chords into, uh, into like a song. So if you haven't watched that, please go check out my other videos. I'm trying to start posting more consistently and uh, kind of, you know, feeling it out. I'm trying to figure out exactly what this channel is, but I think stuff like this is really cool. So today I thought it would be a lot of fun to kind of show my process with how I would layer guitars and like come up with a chord progression and then add a harmony to that chord progression using other chords and like different voicings and stuff like that. I did this a little bit on my, my channel, like the little one minute uh, ideas with a, an acoustic guitar. So I thought that uh, for this video, I wanted to mainly use an acoustic guitar. So I have my, my Taylor, it's like a smaller bodied acoustic, which I really, really like, especially for recording. It just seems to cut through the mix a bit better and sound a bit better than like a huge jumbo acoustic, you know? So, so this is gonna be kind of my process of uh, recording some parts. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to like, and subscribe and please comment. The more comments I see, the kind of I'm, the more I know that you guys are actually interested in these videos. So please leave a comment if you if you enjoy these kinds of videos and maybe let me know what other topics you'd like me to talk about. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Cool, so I'm at my desk and I have uh, my DAW open and now I just need to kind of start by coming up with some kind of interesting chord progression. I've been really liking chords that have a bunch of extensions and like a lot of more than just simple triad kind of stuff. And then uh, especially with the acoustic guitar, I really like using a capo to kind of, I don't know, just try different sounds with like the open string kind of thing. Having the capo kind of just inspires me to try different things and come up with different chords. I think I'm gonna try to keep it somewhat short, like I'm not gonna make some super long chord progression, but uh, I want it to be cool, so let's figure something out here. I have the capo on the fourth fret. So like that, that chord would be like a G sharp major chord. And I'm doing the E major shape. That's kind of cool. So I, I, I do really like that kind of sound though. Okay, um, so I'm gonna try to record that. Just a little bit faster. Maybe come up with like a B section. Okay, I'll do something like that. All right, that's close enough. Now, I have this little section. Cool, I repeat there. So now what I, what I wanna do is um, kind of create like some layers that complement this first layer and then I'm gonna double track them and pan them hard right, hard left. First I have to figure out what I even played. And then also another thing I like to do is if I'm using a capo for the harmony parts, I'll move the capo somewhere else. If I'm doing like an E major thing, maybe I'll try it without a capo. Okay, 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 I think I have it. So I'm gonna... Create a new layer, and this is going to be harmony left, and let's do this. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just going to record that a second time and then I'm gonna pan up. So it's gonna be left and then this new one's gonna be right. So like, I'm kind of playing the same chords in both of these layers. I'm just doing different voicings and then doing it in like a different part of the neck. So like, for example, this first part of this little acoustic thing, the, the one that sounds like. So I'm really, I'm thinking like, like an E major thing. And then this is like F sharp major over, uh, over A sharp to a G sharp minor, right? So then when I'm doing it down here, I'm hitting an E major, but just uh, with open strings. And then I'm hitting this, which is like F sharp major over A sharp. And then I'm hitting that like B major seven thing, uh, which is happening over. So it's like the relative major of that G sharp minor. So you can do that. So like if you're hitting a minor chord in the original part, you can hit the relative major of that minor chord as like a harmony layer on top. So that's kind of how I'm thinking about this whole thing. And then of course I'm trying to mimic the, um, the rhythmic pattern, like the... So like, instead of going, I'm going. So it's like... Cool, so I say we add more layers to this. I kind of want to add electric guitar because I think that'd be pretty cool. And uh, I have a pretty cool electric guitar with me and I kind of want to use it. So I will be right back. So the guitar I have with me right now is uh, this iconic guitars Tamarack with uh, P90s and a Bigsby on it, which is super sick. I have been loving this guitar, kind of just borrowing it from them because they had it at the shop and I was like, I want that. So here, uh, you're gonna hear how it sounds and it's, it's very cool. It makes me really want something with P90s in it. So let's uh, let's create a new audio track. Electric guitar, Tone King on it. So this has way too much low end. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn the compressor on. I'm gonna take out the bass with an EQ. So that's pretty cool. I kind of want to add some modulation. So let's add some sound toys. Uh, 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 mm. That's kind of cool. Ooh, that's sick. That's kind of crazy, but maybe something less. I don't know that I want the swell. Ooh, I kind of want to do something up there. I don't, mm, I don't know that I like that. Maybe I'll do some little effects. I'm just going to record it. So now I think I'm gonna add just a ton of reverb to that because why not? I think it'd, um, I think it'd be fun. Cool. 
now I kind of want like an actual electric guitar part. <laughs> so I'm gonna get rid of these plugins on this. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I messed up a little bit, but you know, I think it's fine. I'm not gonna keep doing this. It needs bass, so I'm gonna add bass. And then um, maybe a drum thing? I'm not quite sure yet, but let me add, uh, let's add bass. Maybe dark glass, cause why not? I like Simon Grove. Let's see the Simon Grove preset. <laughs> This is going to be cool. Let's record this. Sick. I should save this. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to do a little bit of automation. So I'm going to put the, uh, the two harmony acoustics in a track. And then when this electric guitar comes in, I'm gonna have them come down a little bit. Sick. I think that's kind of done. I'm not gonna keep messing with it. I'm actually pretty into this. I think it sounds pretty cool. Um, I hope you guys Dig it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I thought it ended up pretty, pretty sick. I, I'm really happy with how the this little one minute idea came out, and it was cool how all the harmonies kind of worked together, and uh, especially with the electric guitar, which uh, I'm a big fan of that of that Tamarack. I don't know if you guys know Iconic Guitars. I'm an Iconic Guitars artist, and every guitar I play from them is like, ooh, this is something, this is a nice, nice guitar, and I want it. So it's a, it's a dangerous uh, place to be where I'm able to try a bunch of Iconic Guitars because I'm like, I, give me all the guitars. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and sticking around. Uh, cool, you can check out my, my music on Spotify, I have a band called Portraits, and I have a band called Victoria. You can find me on Instagram, at Josh Dela, and my website is joshuadelavictoria.com, and be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys later.